Hey there, Rocco here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to take a little quick look at the denoiser within DAS by testing it with a couple of different images, a couple of different scenes, uh, different denoiser settings uh, and just taking a look at what level is acceptable with the, with the denoiser when it comes to the quality of the final image and the time that we save during rendering. Uh, now as you can see, as usual, I've already got a model loaded up and this time it is a Lunid. Um, now I've actually used it before in one of the videos and I do quite like it but I've chosen it this time because as you can see from this final rendered image here that she has a few blotches on the skin and a few spots, a few little pock marks on her cheeks, you know little details that the denoiser could actually possibly possibly you know smooth out uh, if we're not too careful but obviously these are details that we do want to keep. Uh, but as usual, you can find the link to Walloonid plus other assets that I use in this video down below uh, in the description. Uh, so make sure you check those out uh, if you like what you see and it will also help out the channel if you do. Uh, so how do we set up the denoiser? Well, it's pretty simple really. Uh, we come across to the render settings. Uh, we have to make sure that the post denoiser available is set to on. And then we have to make sure that post denoiser enable is also set to one by default it will be off and then we also have to just check our post denoiser start iteration slider now at a default of eight uh, it'll probably come out with a pretty poor image uh, as you'll see in a moment uh, but you can just use that slider up and down as you can see to set it to what you want but we're just going to start off at eight uh, and then we're going to build up from there just to see at what level things become acceptable uh, and you know just what type of detail we keep as that number goes up uh, which is the whole purpose of this video of course uh, now before we do take a look at these comparisons make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell uh, it really help out if you do uh, but of course you know the reason for that is because you don't want to miss any other videos any other tips and tricks that we might be doing uh, on the channel and I really really appreciate your support so let's have a look at the results uh, and see what we get and so here we are then with a the baseline render. Uh, this is a 4K image and it took 1694 iterations and a total of 2 hours and 1 minute, uh, which is a long time. But that's a 4K image for you. Uh, what we'll do now, we'll throw up the comparisons uh, and we'll see what results we get. What I'd really like to know from yourself though is just at what point do you think the quality is satisfactory or at least good enough that you would choose to use the denoiser at that point let me know in the comments down below because i'll be curious as to what people think so we'll go through the comparisons now and then we'll move on to the second scene And so here we are then with the second scene loaded in. Uh, this is Caitlin. She is a model from Muso, and she's in what I call a little spooky house. Now, the reason this uh, this scene's going to differ from the previous one is that obviously we've now got an environment that she's in, and it's quite a large environment with a, a lot of angles where light can come in, but it's fairly dark, which means that. Uh, you're going to get graininess in the background and there's a lot of areas that the, the rays from Ira and the renderer need to reach which means it's probably going to take longer it's probably going to take a lot more iterations and up until the final result it's probably going to be a bit grainy so what we'll do we'll have a quick look at the baseline and then we'll set off the comparisons again and once more let me know down below at what point you think that the results are acceptable uh, and we'll go through them and we'll do a quick summary once they're all done i'll see you in a moment
I'm going to let you into a little secret here. I'm surprised. Uh, I didn't actually think the results would come out as, you know, as quite clear as that. Uh, normally, I wouldn't advise people using the denoiser on a character model unless you were doing crazy high high levels because it just washes out too much detail. Then again, in these examples, I don't really think it has. I mean, on the first example with a Lunid, uh, I honestly think that you get a 250 iterations, 16 minutes into the, the render. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, I don't think you need to go much beyond that. Uh, you know, maybe if you zoom in or maybe if you've got a really keen eye, maybe you can see some areas, but... You know, I think that's fine. I think that's acceptable. And again, on the second image with Caitlin in the house, uh, again, I think maybe t maybe 500 iterations, the 25 minute mark or, or whatever it is. Uh, I think that's, you know, certainly at that level, because you now start to get a little bit of detail down on a leg, if you notice the right leg there. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm surprised. I am genuinely, honestly surprised that just, you know, how much of a saving you can do and, and you know, keep, keep the quality quite high. Uh, wow, yeah, so there we go. Uh, now, of course, when you set a render off, you don't know at what points the, the, the denoise is going to give a decent you know quality result at. But fortunately, what we can do is if you check out this video in the top, top left-hand corner where I talk about making changes during your render, the denoiser is one of those things that is, is available uh, during the render for you to change and fiddle with. Just make sure it's all turned on, you know, the denoiser is all available and, and enabled and such. And then you can make changes as to what point the denoiser kicks in. Just try it at different levels during the render and say, you know what, 500, 1000, it's fine. And then you can stop the render earlier and everything's great. So yeah, genuinely surprised. Uh, yeah. Normally I wouldn't advise using the denoiser, but I'm going to advise that, yeah, you can probably get away with it uh, at some point in some scenes. I don't think it'll work in every scene. I don't think every situation will be the same, but certainly in these two examples, I think you can get away with it. So yeah, great. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment down below, let me know what you think. Do you, do you agree with me or do you think you should just ignore the denoiser completely? Uh, let me know. I'd be curious to see what you think. Bye-bye for now.